Hi everyone, it's Karen here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a YouTube tutorial where I'm working on a 4x4 wooden panel using some Prima Finabair products. And I'm going to alter this wooden block. You can also use um, canvas or you could use the other side and create a shadow box out of this. I am going to use the regular side here and use a lot of new products from the 2019 winter release. First I'm going to use this decorative paper. It's a beautiful printed tissue paper. It comes with many different designs and I'm using this design which is called Musica. There's six sheets in each one and they're all the same. For You can use them for basically anything. So I'm going to grab one of the sheets. I mean this is a very small panel so Truthfully, you, very, you need very little bit to, to actually cover it. And because they're such large sheets, you basically get a lot for your money when you buy these. I mean, I'm just going to cut a piece out of it here. And it's very hard to show you in the video. But I'm just going to use some scissors and I'm going to cut these. Because it's tissue paper, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to be exact. I just want to find the right spot to cut it because I want certain designs to be in it. So I think I want some of the music notes to be in this, so this would be perfect. Okay, so let's let's cut a bit bigger. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be exact. You can also rip it or tear it. It doesn't have to be exact. But I do want to cover the edges, so that's why I made it a little bit bigger. And this is great because it will last you a long time. You can use it for many different projects. Now, I love this, this whole area here where it's all yellowish. And that's what I'm going to use. But I will actually use some of the other parts to add on the other side. And you can basically, because it's tissue paper, you can add it any way you want. I'm going to glue this with some of the... Prima Soft Matte Gel Medium. This is the Finabare Soft Matte Gel Medium. I like it matte just because I don't like having shininess in my background. And I'm going to use my soft silicone brush to glue this. Now this is really easy to do. You just put and you just basically glue it on. And it's just a panel so it's easy to do. I might get some on the corners over here and if it rips that's okay it just ripped over here but that's okay now i can always tear over here but i do want to do the edges so you can cut it as well you don't have to tear it and this one i need to cut because it's not cutting properly and I do want this piece I want to put it on this side so I'm going to cut it that way and it's a very it's fragile tissue paper is fragile we know that from other works that we've done like decoupage way back then when we used to do that I mean I'm still I still decoupage right I'm decoupaging right now it's just different it's kind of it's called now mixed media right so that's the only difference Let's put some over here. I do want the sides to be done as well, right? It's It looks better that way. And you don't need a lot of this gel to do so. And then once I'm, I put all the paper, I'm just going to seal it. But right now I'm just adding some more. I do want some of this yellow stuff here. So you see how you can add it on the side and you can't even tell that it's there, that it's like not part of that side. So I'm going to use a little bit more of this to just kind of frame everything. So I'm, I need a few more pieces of the yellow. I'm going to cut like the edge a little bit. I just want to add a little bit on this side. And a lot of this stuff is going to get covered, so that's why I'm not worried if there's lines and so forth, because I'm going to be putting other embellishments on this. So I'm not worried about the way it's been getting covered and it's not if it's not perfect or not. 
that's okay by me. What I like about a tissue paper is that you can layer it and you can barely tell that, that you put an extra piece on it because it dries and it melts into the other side. Now all I do is just seal it with the same gel just to make sure that if I add any other mediums onto it, it won't ruin it. The paper won't ruin. Finabare also came out this year with some amazing silicone molds and this is one of them. It has a lot of different mechanical gears and very cool pieces. And I went ahead and created some pieces out of this mold. I went and created it in advance. You can use any type of either resin or clay or basically anything to create these. And I have a video on my YouTube channel where I discussed the five different type of clay or mold materials that you can use. So if you want to refer to this video, I'll, I'll, I'll link that below in the description area. So that way you can see like what options you have to use in the silicone mold. Now I want to use these mediums to create and paint these to make them look more like gears and rustic gears basically. And I want to use an oldie but goodie. This is the rust paste effect from Prima Finiber. It came out a few years ago and it's one of my favorite all-time products. And I've used this a lot on my videos so I'm sure it's not nothing new but I just want to show you and I'm going to paint these gears using these effect pastes. So I'm going to move this aside so it doesn't get ruined. I'm going to start with the brown because the brown always gives a really beautiful shadow to the embellishments. So I'm basically just covering everything in brown. I'm quickly doing it just because um, I want to just add a first layer to this. Now the nice thing about these pastes is that you don't need to prime your, your objects. You need to prime the surface. Basically, it goes well on anything. It covers anything really, really well. However, if you do want to use gesso, you're more than welcome to use gesso in the background where there's white or black gesso. It works perfectly fine as well. And this paste can be used on basically any type of uh, material, whether it is wood, resin, plastic. When I'm using it right now is on resin but it can be used on metal and can be used basically on everything. And I'm just going to paint them all in brown first. The nice thing about this paste is that besides having a very rustic look, it also has texture. So it's really nice to just add this to any type of embellishment or background because it not only adds the color, but it also adds a beautiful rough texture. So I really love using these, this paste and it comes in various colors as well. Once I am finished with the brown, I go ahead and add the other color and I don't want this to be fully dried. I like it when the colors mix with each other. So I'm going to add some of the red rust. This give it that really beautiful rusty color, but I already have then in the background I have some of the brown, so it mixes together and creates a beautiful shadow. So I'm not going to add this everywhere. And I just want to add it in some areas. It kind of adds that rusted look and makes it look really, really cool. So it makes it look authentic. It makes it look rustic. And I love using this paste. I truly do. I'm going to dry this layer so I can add a little bit of a patina effect on it as well. But I want it to be dry because otherwise it mixes too much with the colors. Right, so I'm bringing one of the other rust pastes. This is the mint green. And I'm going to put a little bit here on this piece of plastic packaging. Just because I don't want to contaminate the tub. And then I'm going to basically add it to some places on these wheels. But I want to be very light on it. I don't want it too much. I want it kind of to match the background here, this greenish background that I created with the tissue paper. 
And I'm also going to add a little bit of this yellowish gold as well. So the same thing, I'm going to put a little bit here on my mat as well because otherwise it will contaminate it. So this set comes together and then the mint green comes in a separate set. So you can see that the dark brown kind of creates that shadow and the other ones create the light on the surface. And I'm combining both the mint green with the yellow and I can always go back and add red if I want to again or basically brown if I see that I've added too much okay so what I like about this is that it makes it the gears look realistic and you can't even tell that they were molds before that hand now I'm going to go back to this and after drying these I'm going to rearrange them on my panel now what I'm going to do is just place these the way I like it just arranging them around my little mini panel and then I'm going to glue them and I'm going to use you can use either 3d matte gel or heavy gel to glue these to the background they're not heavy so really anything goes for this one and I like matte gel so that's basically why I want to use this one the other one the heavy gel is actually much glossier and I prefer matte colors so I mean this is very very simple not hard to do and it's just a really nice steampunk panel that you can either hang or give as a gift now if you don't have this type of paper you can always use the rest space to create the same effect in the background as well and I've done that many times before I had this paper and all you have to do is grab a little paintbrush just clean up the edges so if you have any glue sticking out obviously you don't want it to be clumpy if you just blend it it will disappear because it's matte so it will not show so you can just do that and just it will glue the edges really really well as you can see I used the matte soft matte one and it didn't doesn't show up in the in the background now all you want to do is dry this and then you can continue working on it the next step is to add a little bit of the waxes. I know I love adding these. This is my favorite color, aged brass. I do love vintage gold as well. I just think it's important to add a little bit of shininess to make this look more realistic. And I find that this helps a lot to just add a little bit of shine to this makes a big difference. It really brings out the light onto this from the embellishment. And this is a very, very, very simple project. So not much I you have you don't have to do much to this. And then all I want to do is I want to use one of these new mechanical from Finnabar. These are called old plates. And how cool are these? and they have different messages i'm going to use this one because obviously it matches my stuff the most and this is really really cool so i'm going to add it let's see over here i think but what i thought would be nice to do is to actually have it uh, wrapped around with some string so i'm going to bring that as well so I brought some jute that I thought would be really cool to add to this and just wrap things around. It will make it a little bit more um, authentic. So make sure that I have enough. So I ended up wrapping the jute around the panel it took forever to actually get it all around so I just want to add a little bit more wax I want to match the jute to the rest of the project so I'm just adding a little bit of wax on top of it 
and maybe even some a little bit here and that's basically it i mean i'm not trying to embellish this too much i just wanted to make something a little plaque for myself so i can hand on the wall it says be true to yourself always and um, that's such an important message so i really wanted to have this one and i love steampunk i really love how this turned out it's really small and it's perfect to hang here in my room so i am really excited that i created it so thank you so much for joining me today if you like my video please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends on social media for more inspiration subscribe to my channel and visit me on my website thank you so much and have an amazing day bye